Okay, now what we're going to do in this tutorial, we are going to add a drop shadow to an image. Now, this is one of the things that you'll probably be asked to do. I've been asked to do it plenty of times, um, but it's not as simple as it seems. At least I found it, it wasn't. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, to add a drop shadow, it's really easy. You go down here to the um, Layer Effects button. Go up here, select Drop Shadow, and you'll see the Layer Style window appears. And Drop Shadow is already checked. Uh, distance is I usually leave it at five, but for this example, let's pump it up to twelve. Click OK, and what do you know? You don't see anything. There's a reason why you don't see anything. The reason is the Drop Shadow is outside of the dimensions of the picture. So now you're kind of stuck. It's like, okay, what do I do now? Well, there's a little trick. First of all, let's go ahead and see what the image size is of our image. So we see 284 by 423. So let's go ahead and um, just go ahead and make it bigger on the width and bigger on the height. We're going to make a blank canvas that's actually bigger than this image. So I'm just going to say 600 by 600. It can be any size you want. So go up here to File, New. Go to 600 by 600, click OK, and there is our new canvas. So what you're going to do now is select all, edit, copy, and you'll be able to tell this is selected because you see these little, uh, what they're called in the industry is marching ants. Once you see the marching ants around your image, that means it's selected. So let's go in here, edit, paste. Okay, so now our image is there, and of course you can't see the drop shadow. We'll have to do that again. So let's go back down here to the effects. Go back up to drop shadow. Let's pump it back up to about 14. Click OK. And there you go. You got a nice little drop shadow there. Now, here's another little trick. Um, if you just saved it the way it was, you would get this whole white background around your image. You don't want to do that. So you're going to need to extract the image. It's, it's nothing hard. It's really easy. So it's just one more little step. Go down here. We'll hide the background. So now make sure your layer is selected. We're going to go to Select All, Edit, Copy Merged. Then we're going to go to File New. And the cool thing about this is that Photoshop automatically knows the width and height of the image that's already on your clipboard. You see up here it says Preset Clipboard. So all you have to do is click OK. And you'll see your new uh, canvas come up and Edit paste and there you go it's a perfect drop shadow and all you have to do is save this out and put it into any presentation that you please